There's good news for area farmers this evening. The House and Senate have come to an agreement reaching a final plan for the 2018 Farm Bill. Congress is expected to pass that Farm Bill this week, which will bring relief to the nation's farmers. KCAU's Anna Warnicki is in Washington with what made it in the final bill. Things are really bad in, uh, in rural America. Chairman of the House Agriculture Committee, Texas Congressman Mike Conaway, says help is on the way for America's farmers. We can't do anything about the trade turmoil that's going on, but the one thing we can do to affect the psyche of rural America is get the farm bill done. Conaway says a farm bill is on track to be finalized this week. On Monday, the leaders of the House and Senate Conference Committees signed off on an $867 billion five year farm bill that includes everything from crop insurance to Broadband. We've got a terrific bill that drills, uh, deals with the safety net. Uh, the conservation title is better. But what didn't make the final bill was the added work requirements for the food stamp program. The issue held up negotiations for months. House Republicans wanted to require all able bodied people to work in order to be eligible for food stamps. But Democrats said that would leave millions of Americans hungry. Most people that get SNAP, SNAP, are making nine or ten or eleven or twelve dollars an hour. They're working hard. They just don't have enough money to get by on. Ohio Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown says the bill isn't perfect, but farmers need help now. I would like us to um, make eligibility for these huge farm subsidies tighter. We didn't win on that. This is an effort that is a great step in the right direction. House Speaker Paul Ryan says the bill could be finished by Friday. This is something we should be passing and putting on the president's desk momentarily. The farm bill is in very good shape. And President Trump says when that happens, he's ready to sign it. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke, KCAU 9 News.